Hi guys, and welcome to Flood the Inkwell. Uh, today we will be discussing location cards, now that we have a bit more information about how they work. Um, so, new locations will be played for a cost, noted at the top right here, or top left, depending on how you're looking at it, um, and will be played like a normal card for that cost. Um, they will also have a willpower, located at the bottom right here, um, like character cards with the willpower, but the locations don't have a challenge power, though, so your characters don't take damage from challenging locations, um, but will unfortunately leave you vulnerable from a challenge from your opponent if you do choose to attack locations. Um, the law denoted here on the location uh, takes effect on your set phase, so that will allow you to gain the amount of law on the location at the start of each turn when it's in play. Um, to move a character to a location, uh, you have to use the move cost, which is located here. Um, characters can move to a location the turn they're played. Don't need to be dry, so you can play the character um, if you've still got a law or two law, depending on how much the location costs to move there. Boom, straight into the location. Um, but characters can only be in one location at a time and can't leave the location once there unless it is to move to another location. Um, if a location card is banished whilst the characters, whilst it has characters at the location, um, then the characters come away from that location. The location is banished and the characters just go back to being just on their own. Normal characters, not on a location without any other changes. They don't take any damage. So if your opponent is targeting your location because you have something there, maybe from the new set that's going to be beneficial to be there. They take the location away. You don't lose that character. It just goes back to normal play. Um, yeah, so that is the information we have currently. But hopefully as more cards are revealed from Into the Inklands, we'll be able to see um, how some more characters inter interact with the locations. I'm sure there will be more. Um, I mean, we have an example already in the form of Peter Pan, the Lost Boy leader, which is now currently on screen. Um who gains a law equal to the location every time he moves there, but he can only move once per turn. So if you have two locations out, you can bounce in between the two whilst your opponent's trying to take out your locations, just gaining the extra laws. So he, instead of questing for the one which he has as his base, he could be questing for two, could be questing for three. We don't know what other locations are going to have as their law. Um, it will be interesting to see what other character interactions we have that come out um, and what other locations and what abilities they might have as more cards from Into the Ink Clans are revealed. Um, that, is the that is the information that we have today. Hopefully we'll have some more soon, which means there'll be another update on the locations and potentially some more Into the Ink Clans bits. But that is what we have today. I thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.